<laughs> What's up, motherfuckies? <laughs> What's up, motherfuckies? Hey, Woody Woo here, like always, bringing you what I think is interesting. Woody Woo here. Thanks for tuning in to another lovely episode of Worlds from Woody Woo Take 8. But I find this place that we call World Crazy. Crazy. Welcome to World from Woody Woo Take 8. Let's get Take 8 started. Let's do this thing, motherfuckies. And this week in local news, in Hagerstown, Maryland, the former chief of halfway fire department gets officially released off of probation. Jeffrey Ranger, 55 years old. Jeffrey Ranger, 55, of Hagerstown, Maryland, Washington County, was charged with misuse of an organization's funds. His original probation was set to end December 29th of this year. He was sentenced on July 25th, 2014 to serve one year in WCDC, otherwise known as Washington County Detention Center. He entered an alpha plea to one count of felony theft over 500, theft scheme over 500. He was actually accused of spending $10,000 between March 17th, 2005 until he was caught in March 12th of 2009. So basically, the former chief of the fire department is making out. You know what I mean? He's making out. He gets off his probation five months early. You know what I mean? Also in local news, in Baker Heights, West Virginia, A two-year-old boy has passed away after an attack from a boxer mixed dog. The boy was found unresponsive near the dog around 5 p.m. The owner of the dog is the one who found the boy. The owner then took the boy to the nearest medical facility where he was then flown to another facility. Detectives have yet made any contact with the boy's parents for some odd reason. West Virginia police are asking anybody with any information on this dog case to please contact them at 304-267-4999. Again, if you have any information, please contact the pigs of West Virginia. I mean, this goes to show you that it doesn't matter the type of dog. This is a boxer mixed dog. You know what I mean? Boxers ain't really known to be that violent. It does not matter. A dog can have a bad day. You don't know what's going through that dog's mind. You know what I mean? The, I mean, the dog could have thought it was in danger. You have no idea. It just goes to show you that dogs can attack and will attack. So that's why I don't own a dog. You know what I mean? But I don't own a dog, you know what I mean? Because I know us motherfuckers is dangerous, ha! <laughs> also, in local news, <coughs> Hagerstown Police Department is currently searching for a suspect in a downtown robbery that took place on North Potomac and North Franklin Street. The suspect ended up putting one person in the hospital on Monday evening around 5.48 p.m. The robbery supposedly took place behind the building of 115 North Potomac Street. The robbery was reported around 5.48 p.m. the same Monday. The Hagerstown Police Department are pleased asking for anybody to contact them with any info in regards to the suspect or anything in regards to the robbery. Today in World News in Toxin, Arizona, a scrapyard exploded. In Toxin, Arizona, a scrapyard worker was killed after the scrapyard exploded. The facility was called Toxin Iron and Metal. Somehow, a torch that was be being used made contact with a 500 pound bomb. Now, of course, when the torch made contact with the bomb, 
That is what caused the explosion. The bomb was an actual MK-82. One of the smallest bombs of the Air Force and Navy. The bomb itself was missing the primer piece, so the explosion was nowhere near what it would have been if it had the primer. You know what I mean? It was just a tiny little fucking fraction of the real explosion if it would have had that primer on it. The victim ended up being Daniel Wright, 46. Approximately around 12.46 p.m., Daniel cut into the bomb with the tools, which caused the explosion, which ended up taking poor Daniel's life. Now, how the bomb ended up in the scrapyard is still a mystery. Here at Woods Woody Woo, I send my condolences to Daniel and the man's family. It's a sad, sad day when a man goes to work trying to make money to survive, and he dies for doing a job. <laughs> also in world news, New York and London Super Highway Connection. What? <laughs> okay, Russia is proposing the mass production of a super highway that in the long run will connect the United States and Europe. Approximately, it's going to go from New York to London. And then there will be something from Russia to Alaska. Vladimir Ukonin, and sorry if I mispronounced mispronounce it, the correct spelling will be up here. is the lead of the project and he is the one actually proposing this now he is friends with the Russian president so that may have some influence in actually getting this project started and up running anyhow Vladimir is lead of the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. let me actually look at how you spell this here the trans erasing belt development also known as the TEPR project. The project would still use pre existing roads in London, in New York, Alaska, and Russia. However, it would take some more roads to be created, of course. However, it would cause thousands of miles of tarmac across Russia's width. It would be about 55 miles between Russia and Alaska. And from New York to London, it is going to be 12,910 miles. That's a pretty large gap. But they, I mean, just for, for y'all to know, I mean, if anybody's already planning on a trip, they do plan on having lots and lots of rest stops along this 12,910 Super highway this week in cannabis news or marijuana news. <laughs> this week in marijuana news, <laughs> in marijuana, a single species cannabis sativa indica or ridiculous, single species or not. Marijuana connoisseurs have struggled with this question for centuries. Is marijuana a single species? Now, while they've been struggling with this issue, they have also been en route to the public buds. Now, the way that they've been going this route is with plant breeding. Now, I'm not no plant breeder. I don't know nothing about plants. But... They're basically taking one strain and mating it with another strain and going with it. Y'all got to remember, marijuana has male plants and female plants. Y'all got to keep this in mind with this aspect, with breeding. This ain't about breeding, though. But the, they'll find it more out as they get more into the breeding. And cross-pollination. Another process of mixing the two. I don't know nothing about it. Maybe a video in the future if y'all would like that. I need comments below. 
below down there comment let me know if y'all want more marijuana videos through plant breeding hydrogenation and cross pollination they have gained so much experience and knowledge when it comes to this question is marijuana a single strain species as the marijuana has moved from the alleys to the storefronts they ask is marijuana a single species now it is being asked more and more every day, but not just by smokers, by scientists, by politicians. You know, as we legalize it, as marijuana is being legalized, people need to know this shit. You know, what I mean, people want to know these things. Now, only 0.3 percent of THC is hemp. Now, scientists and whatnot have found that Mary Jane, aka marijuana, can be crossed with any strain. It has been 10,000 years that marijuana have used, I mean, marijuana has been used by people from anything from clothes to medicine. I mean, the paper, I mean, marijuana has been used, hemp has been used for years and centuries. I mean, it's not no joke. And marijuana, or the hemp plant, can actually be grown anywhere in the world except Antarctica. You can go anywhere and find marijuana. I mean, and that's one of the only plants that does that. I mean, you can actually grow marijuana anywhere. Now, y'all may be wondering, okay, the question is, is it a single species? I don't know. I don't know. I just threw this shit in there. To be honest. They don't answer this shit. Right now, it's still a question being asked. We are still in the study of finding out. Is it a sativa, an indica, or radicalis? I don't know. I don't know, people. You tell me your opinion. Leave me a comment. And now, yours and mine's favorite. Dumbass of the motherfucking... Week! Alright, this week, our dumbass takes place in No Gals, Arizona. This took place actually in September 8th, but it is this week's feature, so get over the date, motherfuckies. Now, this dumbass of the week follows marijuana news for one reason, and it's because of the very first sentence I gotta say about this article I'm speaking on. A bundle of marijuana crashes through a family's carport in Nogares, Arizona. <laughs> Maya Donnelly said her and her kinfolk was awakened by what seemed like thunder that night. So she woke up, she was like, ah, oh, some thunder, I'm going back to sleep. So she went back to sleep. In the morning, she discovered shattered wood upon her carport. So she went to go investigate and see what was going on. She went to go investigate the wood. As she entered the carport, she noticed the hole in the carport's roof. Now looking at the hole, she didn't know what to think. Well, when she went to over to the debris, she realized that it was a bundle of marijuana. The first thing that came to her mind was Mexico. As you see, no cares Arizona, and the town that she lives in is only a few miles from Mexico. So she automatically, her mind automatically went to Mexico and drug smuggling. Sad to say, but people do consider Mexico and the Mexican people drug smugglers and, and whatnot. The bundle ended up being 28 pounds. 28 pounds of marijuana came through the roof, busted through the roof, and ended up in a doghouse. The estimated value of the marijuana was at 10 grand. 10 grand! The police believe an ultralight aircraft must have been on his way to deliver and accidentally made the wrong drop. So, the police are asking anybody with any information to please contact the local police department. However, the motherfucking dude who accidentally dropped this shit 
probably has a hit out on him. That's 10 grand. So whoever is out of 10 grand is going to be one pissed off motherfucker. <laughs> Dumbass of the week. Dumbass of the week. Go to the aircraft pilot. Motherfucker, if you're gonna fucking smuggle weed from Mexico into the United States, know what you're gonna do. Know where it's going. Have a fucking plan and follow that plan. <coughs> <coughs> you had no reason to do that. Because apparently they don't, I mean, apparently you didn't, nobody knew what you was doing. You was already in the United States, you was good to go. But yet, you gave away that pot, and now you got a hit on your head. Dumbass of the week, pilot. Dropping weed in people's call pools. God, people are fucking stupid. Next week, we got words from Woody Woo, the Woody Woo edition, where I'm going to just go into me. So, this week, if y'all want to leave a comment down below or a question, you know what I mean? We can go from there. Otherwise, I'm just going to tell you what I think y'all y'all want to know or what y'all would like to know family to me is extremely extremely important what do we here i'm signing off like subscribe you know comment get at me y'all i need y'all's input later motherfuckers woody woo i love y'all be nice come back it works if you work it keep on coming back though for real for real i love y'all woody woo be nice be kind